Hi everybody, Robert here with more of this rivet precast training. So now we're going to go and work on our columns here, and uh, we're going to show you how to make piece takers. Now I don't, they don't have a section for columns here in this version. I don't think they do, but I have a peep in config, and in config they don't mention anything about beams or columns. Okay, so we'll do this the old school way. So what we'll do, we'll go into our structure tab and we'll select rebar. And we're going to select this guy here. And then we want to select this little builder here. And then our shapes will show up over here on the uh, right side. So I'm going to use this uh, T1 shape for our columns. And then for the settings, I'm going to set this at maximum spacing and I want it at about four inches and I'll go in here and I'll just the little you see the little green line that's the cover and I'll just slide this in and put it right I want that to go right there okay and then let's go to the next one let's get all these guys that one there and let's get this one right So just go around to each one, each column. Let's grab this one. I mean, the thing about it is, um, beams and columns are not are that easy to do. So at least the hard part is out of the way, the wall panels. And let's go get this guy in here. So you place all of your rebar. I think, did I get them all? No, three out here. Oh, lots out here. So let's go and grab this one here. Let's place him there. Let's place him in there. Let's go grab this one here. And we've got, that would be the last one, I hope. If not, this will be another thing you can do on your own. But I want to show you how we will generate piece tickets this way. It's a little manually, but it'll work. Uh, this is what we did before they came out with the precast tool. So I guess they're working on the beans and cons. So I got all of my reinforcement. Let's have a look at this in 3D. And let's move this up here a little bit. And then let's go to our wireframe. Okay, one second here. So let's go into wireframe now. And there, okay, we've got all of our, let me see, is that on thick line? Okay, we've got all our columns done and everything, we're enforced. So now the next thing we want to do, let's go down into our, well, let's go in this drawing right here. So the next thing we want to do now is let's go let's look at our basement. And I want to go and I want to select everything here. And then I want to go here. I want to create assembly. No, not that way. I think this is better. Now, the best way to do this is in 3D, I think. So let's go back to our 3D view. And I think we want to number them in a way. So let's go get this one first over here. This will be our first one. So let's go and just select the column. Reinforcement. Hold down control. And I think this piece right here. Yeah, this is probably going to be cast in. This piece right here. So let's find that piece. Go. No, that's not okay. Here we go. Let's try this one more time. That's that's let's go here. Okay, I'm gonna just go and just grab everything like this, and then I'm gonna pick these. I think this plate right here. Grab it. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I got it. So now, once we grab everything, we we'll select the assembly tool. And we'll have to create assembly. 
Put a section container of banana lines. I mean, okay, cancel that. So let's try this again. So I'm going to select the rebar, the column, and can I get this? We'll add that later. I'll show you how to add that later. And then we'll just go create assembly. And so this is going to be column one. And then we'll just say okay here. And we'll do the same here. Okay. Then we'll go to this one. Create assembly. Okay, now if you look here in the project browser, we've got our column 01 made, and actually what's happening is they're all going to be 01 because they're the same right now. Create assembly. So we got a 02 now. Something's different over here, because that's good. Let's edit this guy here, and I'm going to show you how to edit this. Now I want to add this play here, so I just click the plus, and I'll select the plate, and then I'll finish it. And then as you can see, we've got another one here. So let's go on to the next one. And let's go create assembly right here. Say OK. And I want to edit this one as well. Edit assembly. And I want to add this plate here. Because that's embedded in, I think. Yeah, it is. So I hit Add. And then after you hit Add, you select it. And then you finish. That is caused. OK, so the add caused a new assembly to be created. So we say OK. And then there's our next one we've got. That's a three. Okay. So let's go in and grab the rest of these guys. I'm going to just go here. I want to create the assembly. I'm going to say OK. And then I want to go here and I want to edit this. So I edit this and I'll add this once again. Okay, now you guys can finish the rest of these. Now I'm going to show you. Okay. So that doesn't work there. You got to add that in or something. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what happened here now. So let's look at column one. So what, what happens here, we're in our project browser. We'll right click on column one. And then we'll say create assembly views. So here are all the views we can, the sheets and views we can get from this. I'm going to throw it our structural column schedule, and I'm going to add a rebar schedule. Some of these I don't need, but I'm going to just show them all now. Okay, and another thing here, we've got sheets selected. We've got to add a sheet here. So we can go all the way down to load, and you can just go pull in your sheets from your uh, title blocks. Um, let's go Imperial Library, title blocks. I think that normally... Let's go with a, a eight and a half by eleven for this. I think for columns we can go eight and a half by eleven for things maybe eleven by seventeen, and then we'll say open, and then we say okay here on the bottom, and now these views are opened up. Now if I expand this, you'll see all of the different views we have here. There's our column, our, our side view. Okay, now what we do here, we want to grab this sheet, and we can just drag and drop our views here. There's our column. Uh, let's add our, uh, I say rebar schedule here, because we got rebar in there. And then let's go do a section view. Uh, let's see. Let's do a column schedule here. So this is pretty good. This is not okay. And then let's go do a 
It's to an elevation view. So you get the idea, folks. Now here, what we can also do, uh, we can go and edit these things. So there's our first column. Uh, let's see, material takeoff. So there's our, 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 our concrete cubic feet. Uh, we can add weight if here we want. Uh, so that's pretty much what all you need. So let's do the top view. Yeah, we're going to have to have a top elevation here. Is that there? Yep. Actually, we may want to go with a bigger sheet, but that's how this is done. So now let's go back into our model. We've got one sheet set up. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, deactivate view. Okay, so now let's go back into our model. And we've got all of our, our beams or our columns all done. So now, so that was column one, this guy here. So let's edit this one now. Let's take this guy and edit. And then I want to add this part here. So I'm going to go add. And I'll select that part. I'll finish it. Okay, so what happened is that's that changed because of what we just did we by adding that part. So now let's go back to that sheet. And there's our new part in the sheet. Let's see. Uh, it's part list. Let me see here. Part list here. And there's our part we added. This uh, this plate. The CP 8242A, that's something I don't remember from Span Creator, I guess. So that's how you set up your sheet your, your sheets for uh reinforce for uh columns. So hey guys, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Next we'll look at Bane. So uh, yeah, they don't do this in um in Rivet. 20 anyway, you have to go and manually make these uh, columns. So we got our columns and basically what what you got to do now is just go down the list, create the columns and set up the sheets. So hey guys, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. We'll look at uh, beams. See you next soon. And everybody please subscribe. Pick me up at the beginning of this, these videos. And you can see how we put this building together. Thanks again. Bye. Please subscribe.